I'm finally going to answer my most frequently asked question. What is palliative care and how does it differ from hospice? So let's explain what palliative care is first. Palliative care is different than hospice. And in this video, I'm going to explain what it is and how it differs from hospice. It's hard to explain exactly what palliative care is because depending on which hospital you're in, which agency you're in, palliative care can differ. It's different than hospice because hospice is federally funded. So Medicare basically guides all hospice companies and gives us all the same rules. Palliative care is a little different, so it can act different depending on where you're getting the palliative care from. Generally speaking though, I would describe palliative care as as a symptom management program. Who qualifies? Again, it can differ from facility to facility, but it's usually someone who has a life limiting disease. So are they technically terminal? No, they have something that needs managed. So it's usually a life limiting disease or a chronic illness, and they're seeing multiple doctors for this illness. And palliative care is there to basically help keep it all organized and keep the symptoms of that disease or the treatment of that disease manageable. Palliative care can be sometimes given to you in the home. It's called home palliative care, but there's also palliative care in the hospital or in an inpatient setting, meaning you go in to see a doctor and they talk to you about your overall care. Palliative care mostly focuses on symptom management. They see the person as a whole and they help you with symptoms. They help you with physical things going on actually in your body from the disease or from the treatment of the disease, but they also help you with planning. They also help you emotionally. So they kind of look at you like a whole person and try to treat you as a whole person, which is why I love it. I always say to everybody, if you can get onto palliative care because you do have to be referred and meet criteria, I would always do it. There is no downside to palliative care because you can have palliative care and still be getting treatment. So say you're on palliative care because you have some type of life limiting cancer and you're receiving all of these treatments over here. You're seeing your oncologist. You're also seeing your cardiologist because you also have some heart issues. So a lot of things going on over here. Your palliative care team will help manage all of those for you. And the sooner you can get them, I think the better because all they're going to do is help. Okay, so what's hospice and how is it different than palliative care? One of the things I already mentioned, hospice is true end of life care. So you technically, in order to qualify for hospice, have to have a terminal illness. And there actually is a, a, a time on hospice care. So you technically have to have a doctor say you have less than six months to live. Technically, definitely could live more than six months. You could die before six months, but that is a criteria that hospice has, whereas palliative does not have that. Now hospice, like I said before, is Medicare driven. So it's federally funded and all hospices should have the same criteria and be offering the same things. Whereas palliative care, they could differ from state to state, hospital to hospital. With hospice, you cannot be getting treatment. So if you go on to hospice for some type of cancer, you cannot also get chemotherapy, get radiation, get procedures done like you can with palliative care. With hospice, you can also quote unquote, get more things, meaning like your medications are delivered to your home, you get equipment, you can get supplies ordered, you get in-home visits. That is a little different than palliative care because some palliative companies can get you some things, meaning like they can provide medications, but maybe it won't be delivered to your home. They can order you something like a walker, but maybe not a hospital bed. And they usually cannot offer you supplies. Again, it always depends, but it is different than hospice. I like this image because it basically shows hospice on one side, palliative care on the other side, what the differences are, but then in the center is what the similarities are. And this is why it gets confused a lot. A lot of physicians and nurses as well, I'm guilty of this, kind of use them interchangeably, but they're not. They're not interchangeably. They are very different as you can see on the two sides. But in the center, how they're the same is because they're both mostly focused on symptom management, comfort care, and looking at you as like a whole human being and not just one disease. There's no fault here, but like a cardiologist is looking at you and thinking about your heart. A pulmonologist is looking at you and thinking about your lungs. A palliative care doctor is looking at you as a whole human being and how they can help 
all of you. This can be a complicated question to answer. I really could talk and talk and talk about the similarities and differences in hospice, but I wanna give you just the general differences of what palliative care is and what hospice is. Many people ask me that. So with this video, hopefully now you know. If you have any more questions about palliative care or hospice, leave them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more death and dying information.